So let's do our walk around. Lights check. Beacon, strobe nav, landing taxi, strobe nav. Good. And pre flight. Okay. Pilots, POH is here. Um, I was, yeah, I was just doing the cat ratings for fun. I, I haven't, I've done pretty much all of the scenarios on the cat ratings, even like the, f I mean, I've done the, what is, I think that the cat 10, I think it's cat 10 or 11. It's one of the, oh yeah. Yeah. Cat 10. Um, I've done that a bunch of times. And you did remind me that since I am finished with that part, let's maybe change change our title here. Let's do Pilot Edge. Okay. Okay, so let's check this out here. While, um, actually, I'm gonna pre-flight this first, and then, then we'll we'll go we'll go back. Okay, fuel valve selector. We need that to be on both. That's in. Uh, static air pressure is off. Trim controls are not neutral. Now they're neutral, okay. Uh, cat would be done before I readings, but that isn't the case. Learned that after my cat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I it just depends on how you want to do it. I mean, there's no. I would say logically you would do the cats first, um, but if you're a real life pilot and you know VFR radio calls, then you're probably you know, not you're not going to need those those ratings, so why not jump to IFR? But I am I am keeping away from instrument flying. I had already removed those. Or I don't have the flaps down. That's okay. Buy down. That's off. Fuel looks good. Chocks, good. Oil, good. That's removed. Tire looks good. Fuel looks good. Pitot tube looks good. Lights look good. Good. And we're done. Okay. Um... ATM, what do you mean? Oh, at the moment, what are we doing at the moment? Uh, we're doing our pre-flight and we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you here in just a second. So let's, let's. I, I really need a freaking second monitor. We're gonna do two things. I'm gonna go see if we have an FS economy flight that we can do. Uh, and I'm gonna get rid of this because we're gonna go to KSNA to, nope, that's, Wrong. K S N A. And what was cable field again, Dean? Yeah, that walk around. Um, that's the sim coders. Uh, realism pack for the stock one eight or one seventy two, and I highly recommend it. Kilo kilo bro. Okay, so it's kilo Charlie Charlie Bravo. There we go. Super quick flight there. We're not going to be doing 
100 the whole time, but either way, that's pretty easy. Um, yeah, so if you, if you have, um, if you're training, if you're in flight school, if you're a student pilot and you have this and fly 172s, um, you definitely should get the, either one, there's a sim coders one and then the other one escapes me who makes the other 172. Um, but the, the sim coders add on, I think is, uh, the preferred one. I did a little bit of research on that. Airfoil Labs. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, the Airfoil Labs one. I was really close to getting that one because um, it looks better. <laughs> and it, it is kind of a bummer when you when you get the uh, SIM coders pack that the plane doesn't look any different. So once you... Um, uh, get over that fact. It's fantastic. So Disneyland has a permanent TFR. And if you are, uh, if you have flight following or you're on the radio with them, you can do, you can get as close as you want to that. But VFR, if you're just squawking VFR and no one knows what you're doing, um, like if you left Corona and stayed under all this stuff, you wouldn't be able to bust that TFR. Um, yeah. Um, it's an add-on. Yeah, so it's supplementary of the standard 172. Okay, so here is what we're up against. And I kind of want to do this with no GPS. So that means I'm going to use this VOR, the Pomona, Pomona VOR here. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to do that. Okay. So that is roughly what we're going to do here. So. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you some of what it does in a second here once I finish flight planning. So we've got all of our John Wayne stuff. So we, we got John Wayne down. Um, we're going to fly north, so we're going to probably have a departure heading of 330 or something, and we're going to fly here. We're going to be rerouted up north, so we're going to go over this, basically, but we're going to ask, we're going to, uh, ask flight following. Let's see what the map looks like right now. Yeah, there's some traffic. It'll be worth having flight following, I think. Okay, so we're going to take off north. And then we're going to immediately want to get a, let's call that a 180 radial on the Pomona VOR. So that's POM, and that is... Where does it say the VOR frequency? There it is. It's 110.4. Okay. So that is our nav aid. And we're going to be looking at the ground too. So we're going to be able to see kind of where we are a little bit as well. We'll follow probably the 57 freeway up. Um, so that'll make it pretty easily. Yeah, uh, the real world cloud weather situation is kind of crappy right now. So I'm going to go custom to not have to worry about that. Uh, okay, so we're going to follow the 57 roughly up north, but we will have our uh, VOR set. And d we don't really even need the 180 radial. We could just whatever whatever gets us direct to Pomona. We can just fly to that. Um, yeah, they have that. Like when the Angels play, there's two of these because the stadium is just right next to it. So there's here's Disneyland, here's Angel Stadium. So there's there's two overlapping TFRs there. But as long as you're on uh, 
you know, approach or whoever, you'll be able to fly over and it's not, they're really not that big of a deal. But yeah, it is for, for terrorists. As long as they know who you are, what you're doing, where you're going, then you can go through there. It's when you, when they don't know who you are and what you're doing, that that's a problem. Okay, so Pomona, we're going to need bracket field. So let's just get bracket in. Maybe we tell them what we're doing. So that's 133.3. Then cable field is... One nineteen five two five. That's not correct. That is the AWOS. It is one two three zero zero. Okay. And locale approach in case we get passed off is gonna be one two five five. So I'm gonna try this with flight following. Um There is an argument for that, Sharky, but the the funnel is pretty big. And you're right. I mean, if something was inbound quick enough, there's really not much you can do for it. Um, but if someone's willing to do that, in, you know, like freaking kamikaze something, um, there's really not much you can do to, to stop someone that crazy but it does prevent people from stalking or from you know throwing things out of the airplane things that would kind of take take a little bit longer to to do at least that that'd be my interpretation of it but it does it does seem like it's you know like what are you really going to be able to do I think this might be too short of a flight to have a flight uh, FS economy. Yeah, everything out of John Wayne's like 800 bucks. That's kind of lame. All right. So here's our route. So we're going to fly just straight north. We're going to hit this VOR and then we're going to head over to cable field. So I'm going to have it in the GPS just as backup. Mm, am I? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to use GPS. We're just going to guess. Uh, what is the altitudes that we need? That was the thing that I forgot to look at. Okay, so we're going to be unrestricted here. You know, I mean, like we're going to have a departure procedure. Um, but other than that, once we're altitude is unrestricted, then we've got 27 and 5,000 here. So we're going to need to be very low. And what is the elevation at bracket? It's actually kind of high. It's a thousand. So we're going to need to be 1,500 feet above the elevation of the, so we're going to be 500 feet above pattern altitude. We may have to take that out a little bit wider, I think. If we come out here and then descend down into cable, that might be a good way to do it as well. Once we have visual on the runway, we can probably figure that out. Uh, there's Fullerton, so where's the 57? So here is Disneyland, so this should be, should be the five right here. Angel Stadium's here, 57, it's gonna be right here. here. Okay, so we follow the 57 up to Pomona. We're well out of class 
Bravo airspace. Uh, so if we stay to the west of bracket, if we're like at 3,000 and we stay to the west of bracket, um, <laughs> hey, brother. Lancus Maximus is in the house. Check that out. What's up, David? Um, this is the VFR chart, actually. Um, but what I want to do is just kind of flight plan a little bit more for this airspace and how to navigate it um, without using GPS, kind of using um, basically local knowledge to fly around these airspaces. So if you go to the TAC route, um, now this is a little bit better. This is clear, actually. As we can zoom in more. Okay, this is this is better. If this is what you meant, um, Sharky, then thank you, because you're totally right. Okay, so here's 57 going up north here. Uh, here is the, what is this? Puente. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the 60 right here. So we're going to go up the 57. Just follow that straight up. And then we're going to stay west of bracket. And then as soon as that runway is over our right wing, we can descend down into that. And let's actually get the ATIS for... Bracket field. That that is going to be pretty close. Is bracket field on here? POC, right? Oh yeah, here it is. Bracket field. Uh, okay, runways two six. All right. So that means we're going to have to loop around. Okay, so that's fine. So we're going to parallel the runway, and then we're going to do a nice, tight little pattern right here. Okay. It's face. The final approach is facing westward, not eastward. Okay, yeah. So that. So we're gonna we're gonna fly up to the west of bracket. And then we're going to go north here along the 210. So we're going to follow the 210. And then we're just going to enter the pattern here. And we should stay out of that airspace. Okay. So we're going to follow the 57 to the 210. And then we're going to enter the pattern. We're going to have a right, um, right pattern to whatever runway this is. What does that look like? Two, four. Two, four. Okay, so let's go K S N A and then K trench wave pattern. Two four is it two four? Why is it not showing me? Okay, yeah, two yeah, it is two four. Okay, so we're gonna be landing on runway two four. All right. So that's our plan, and if we can execute this, we'll be in good shape. Okay, back to the airplane. No GPS on this. I'm not putting it in the GPS. Okay, so checklist. Let's do seatbelts fastened. Fuel selector is to both. Circuit breakers are all in. Beacon is beacon is on. Uh, avionics switch is off. Master switch is on. Uh, 
master switch on, throttle, quarter of an inch open, mixture, idle cutoff, cold start, auxiliary pump on. Throw that in for a couple seconds, and then cut it off, and then auxiliary pump off. Propeller area clear, starter engaged, and let's see if this thing is going to start. Sweet. It's actually the nicest it's started up from cold. Okay, so that is that checklist is done. Ignition switch start mixture rich engine RPM is at a thousand, looks good. Oil pressure check. Pressure is good. Temperature's coming up. Flaps are up, avionics on, instruments set. We need to get this thing over to way over here. Okay, we can calibrate that too. Um, oh yeah, the Pomona, Pomona Raceway, Fairplex. Okay. Check. Or take off. Okay, so let's we're gonna go do our run up. Yeah, I don't know why they don't have that on the chart, that little uh, reservoir kind of by raging waters. Okay, so let's get our departure information. Okay, so I am going to resist the urge to cold call him and let's actually find out what the weather is here. Actual weather. Okay. From seven point Delta Hotel, thanks. Contact Santa Barbara approach one two zero point five five. Echo. Seven four Delta Hotel Santa Barbara approach. Good evening, Santa Maria altimeter two nine nine or five. Expect the uh, localizer DME back course alpha approach. And just let me know if you have another request. Seven more Delta Delta Center maintain six thousand. John Wayne Clearance, good evening. Skyhawk November two zero four Lima Echo with VFR departure request to the northeast and route to Cable Fields. Request flight following as well. Two zero four Lima Echo, John Wayne Clearance, what was your aircraft take? Cessna Skyhawk for Lima Echo. Interesting, man. Three three zero. Is that going to be our departure? That's going to be my guess. Is three three zero. Any bets before you tell us? Zero four Echo after departure. Flighting zero eight zero. Maintain VFR at or below twenty four hundred. Three thousand. Oh. Departure frequency one two eight point one. Squawk four three five four. That's departure heading 080 at or below 3,000 feet. Departure frequency 128.1 and squawking 4354 for Lima Echo. For Lima Echo, reback, right? Thank you, going to ground. Okay, well, it's We're 7 4 Delta Hotel, cross San Marcos, center above 6,000. Cleared localizer, DME backwards, Alpha approach, plant straight in 3 zero. Okay. That departure is actually a little bit better, I guess. OK, 
get out of here, X5. Okay, so one of the one of the things that this rep pack changes is the uh, the taxing as well. So the ground handling is much better than the than the standard plane. So let's head over to ground and then let's get tower dialed in here as well on 18.9. John Wayne Ground, Skyhawk, November 204, Lima Echo at Dove Street Parking. Request taxi to midfield run-up. 204, Lima Echo, Roger. Just check your transponder code there, 4354. Taxi midfield run-up by Alpha. Taxi midfield run-up via Alpha. We'll get the uh, transponder here in a second for Lima Echo. Four. I've been forgetting that. That dude was hauling ass, too. Okay. I'm gonna take a cue from Julia and taxi nice and slow. Not in a rush here. I should be paying attention to my checklists. Okay, and I don't want help on this. I want this out of here. So let's go, what's a good one to go to? That. I'll just leave that up. There's the compass rose. I know I said that this was, this fixed the ground handling, but. Extra Bravo 1 Quebec Delta before the midfield. Not all the way. Extra Bravo 1 Quebec see. Delta, runway 1 6 right, clear to land when calm. One six five three to them at for about one click. Hands a little brake squeak in there as as well. Yeah, I know. I have to not be a jackass. Okay, knee board before takeoff parking brake set. Flight controls free and correct. Okay, mixture is full wrench. Uh, autopilot disconnect. We're off. Throttle 1800. Los Angeles Tower System 172, November 1. Amp meter, Alpha Delta good. India. Engine instruments. At terminal 1 position. We got pressure. Alpha. Received information. Tempest Hotel. coming up. Request taxi. Fuel flow is one there. Alpha Delta India. It's Class Bravo Airport. You're going to have to ET. make your request with clearance delivery. I'm also going to need you to connect to the network with a valid uh, valid U.S. registration or uh, foreign registration. November 1 Alpha Delta India is not a valid registration in any country I'm aware <laughs> Get him busy. Roger, still learning. Appreciate yeah. the help. Thanks, mate. And no so problem at all. Suction. Get where that thing is. Oh yeah, vacuum there is okay. Good magnetos. Okay, let's check our drops. Good. Good. And idle check. That looks good. Back to a thousand. Torp. Clipper 576 LA Center, good evening. <laughs> what the hell was that? John Wayne Ground 4, Lima Echo finished at midfield run up. Number 4, Lima Echo, runway 20 left at Kilo Taxi via Charlie Kilo. Two zero left at Kilo Taxi via Charlie and Kilo for the Echo. <laughs> Thank you, Sharky. It sure does fly, doesn't it?
it's quiet down here tonight. Usually there's at least some some action in John Wayne, but battle our right or excuse me, our left turning tendencies. All four of them. What the hell? Thanks for Bravo One Quebec Delta through the runway. Thanks for Bravo One Quebec Delta. Roger taxi to the ramp via Alpha this frequency. Taxi via Alpha this. Okay, without looking, and I'm trying to, Dean. Without cheating, let's see if we can come up with the four left turning tendencies. Just learning that. I hate being on the ground in this stupid sim. My god. <sighs> yeah, I know. I took out, like, the entire Charlie taxiway. Okay, so we have our heading set in there. Now let's swap over to tower, and we're going to go to 128.1. And that is set there. Okay. Anybody have one of the left turning tendencies? John Wayne Tower, Skyhawk, November 204, Lima Echo holding short, runway 20 left at Kilo, ready for takeoff. Prop wash is one of them. Good job, Sharky. Nineteen nine, right? Yeah. Number two zero four, Lima Echo, John Wayne Tower, went two four zero three, runway two zero left to Kilo, clear for takeoff. Two zero left, clear for takeoff, for Lima Echo. Yep, it hits, hits the tail, hits the the uh, left side of the tail. Okay, let's roll out. Get lined up here. And full power. So now we've, now we have two of the left turning tendencies working on us right now. We're about to have the fourth and fifth. So let's rotate. And we're up. Positive rate. Clear those buildings. I was at an event last night at the golf course right here, Santa Ana Country Club, right, right here. That's the country club, right where those trees are. Even though there's not trees there. Okay. Yeah, Dean, you can get the other two. And Sharky. CF, you got to be a little bit more specific than that, I think. We're 204 Lima Echo, radar contact, see altitude. We're at 500 and climbing, 4 Lima Echo. 4 Lima Echo, thanks, kind of Going departure. Go to departure, 4 Lima Echo. SoCal Departure, Skyhawk, November 204, Lima Echo, 700 and climbing. Or 204, Lima Echo, SoCal Approach, good evening, John Wayne Altimeter, 2993. 2993, John Wayne Altimeter, for Lima Echo, thank you. Another aircraft call in there, uh, you, I completely stepped on you, seeing it. 1104. Okay, so we've got, we've got it. And what we were saying, one one eight zero one Quebec Delta, and I's clearance departure frequency one three four point two squawk two zero one one. So there's our one eight zero. 
once we once we get into that. One Quebec Delta revac, right? Yes, yeah, is going to be sweet team. Yeah, so centripetal force. It's you know, I'm not I'm not cheating either, so I'm not looking at anything. Is but poly Echo, cancel altitude restriction, resume on navigation. Resuming own navigation, canceling altitude restriction for Lima Echo. Um, um, so the centripetal force, and I, I could be wrong, I could be confusing it with the fourth one. But I believe, thank you, David, I believe that it is gyroscopic precession is the actual uh, major nerd version of centripetal force because centripetal force is just the force that pushes you know um, the, f the outward force of a spinning of something spinning whether you know obviously if it's a circle but um, but I think what causes it to turn to the left is gyroscopic precession I think so we have prop wash Gyroscopic precession or centripetal force, but we'll just call it the major nerd version. Um, and we've got two more. Right, yeah, because they're, they're counter. Well, yeah, I guess you would. I think all are counter rotating. Clipper 576, cross caddy at maintain 1 2000, Las Vegas altimeter 270. Okay, so here is, we're gonna, we're gonna be flying via freeways here for a little bit. So this is the 55. David, you'll appreciate all of this as well because hopefully you'll be somewhat familiar. So here's the 55. So we're gonna follow that up until we get to the five and then we will follow that to the 57 but we're going strictly bfr here dean it's it's just about um it's about budget it's just um how much you want to spend and just finding finding the right hardware Next row, Bravo 1, Quebec, Delta Van Nuys, ground runway 16, right taxi by Alpha Charlie. We still have flight following, Sharky, but we, we're on our own navigation. So we, we're still ident, or we're still squawking. So they are following us. Um, so David, you can have, I mean, VFR, so I shouldn't say strictly VFR because it's not, we're, we're, almost always VFR and that's visual flight rules. If you were IFR, the controller would tell you exactly where to go. I mean, it's like they tell you the heading, the altitude and everything where to go. But what we're doing is, you're right Sharky, it's more dead reckoning. So that just means that we're following visual cues. And this is kind of a loose dead reckoning because I don't have any like time to checkpoints. But we're we're just following. So here's here's five, Clipper and five seventy six. Roger, fifty fifty five going up north there, and we're just going to intercept the uh, fifty seven up here a little bit. Complete that reckoning. Pilotage, yeah. Um, Dean, I got a ton of recommendations. I mean, it it again depends. It makes it much easier if you've got the you know the bigger the budget, the the better. Um, system you're going to have. I have a, I have an i5, an overclocked i5 and a 1060 and it runs fantastically even streaming. I don't have a s dedicated streaming machine. So that LA Center, Roger, runs Vegas, perfectly. Ryan has, I believe, you know, I don't know what processor he has, but he's got a 1050. So you can go on a, you know, a couple gens older graphics card. Um, you know, in a decent processor, and, and you'll be fine. Um, the VR was okay. I mean, it 
I had to turn. I turned off all world objects. Yeah, two nine nine I two. think it would have had trouble if I had all the world objects on. But I had them turned off, and it did fine. Um, like once you're up in the air with the ortho on, it looks great. But the lower you get, I mean, it was just like all the runways were flat. So that was a little bit on the lame side, but it did okay. I mean, I didn't. There was no frame rate issue in that configuration. Okay, so here's the 22. This is orange. So David, just so you know, um, this we left from John Wayne. Here's orange, and then Angel Stadium is just right over our nose here. Peace out, David. Thanks for hanging out. All right, and here is the 57. There is Angel Stadium right there. There's the Honda Center. And we're 3610 Echo Chino Ground. Good evening. Clear to the Long Beach Airport on departure flighting 260. Spec Greater Vectors Paradise. Follow this north. Nice file. Maintain 4000 departure frequency 135.4 squawk 4544. One Zachary Becker. It's a little bit weird. There is the big A. Right. So here's my neck of the woods, Dean. This is my neighborhood right here. Chino ground right two six right taxi via Alpha and Papa cross from my two one at Alpha. Nice. Yeah, the the old California Angels. The Los Angeles Angels. Thanks for Bravo. Welcome back, Delta Van Nuys Tower. Make a right crosswind departure runway one six right to clear for takeoff. Wind two six zero to four. Let's consult our charts here and see what those hills are. 1445. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago, Sharky. That's all my favorite gear. I love the uh, the lowercase a with the halo, and the the state of California with the star and the halo around it. That's those are my two my two favorites. I'm surrounded by angel stuff too. You just can't see it. Got a couple of signed jerseys on the wall. Or seven four Delta Hotel Connect Santa Maria Tower. Yeah, the CA is a good one too. Here's Brave. I mean, this is this is how I go to work every day, right here. I just I recognize all of that, all that crap. This is uh, Cal State Fullerton, right here. Seven four Delta Hotel, Santa Maria Tower. Good evening. Make straight runway three zero. Went two nine zero seven. Runway three zero. Clear to land. Three six one zero Echo Chino Tower with two six right clear for takeoff one two four zero at seven. But 
Though I think this would probably be a smart thing to do in real life. Uh, ah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna not do it. We got flight following, so I'm not gonna do it. Let's just get uh, 123 in there. Thanks for Bravo One Quebec Delta. Can I so Caliperture? All right, so we've got some checkpoints that we're looking at here. So there is the baseball field. Bulletin has a really good baseball team. <laughs> Concrete jungle. Rex, you're probably one Quebec Delta, SoCal departure, radar contact, Van Nuys altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. Not Remain a pretty outside campus. outside the Los Angeles Bravo airspace. And report established. On the Los Angeles 323 radial at 5,500. <laughs> you did really. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. Clipper 576, can I close They were good. Hey Vega, welcome sir. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Played for UCR, nice. What position did you play? Right on, man. That's awesome. Okay, there's the Brea Mall. We're still looking good. Follow the valley up here. 576, Las Vegas approach. Keeping the altimeter. I freaking love baseball. And I used to hate it. I used to really hate it, actually. 576, after Caddy, to send him 18 8,000. Three six one zero echo connect so California. It's going great, Vega. It's good to see you too, man. Thank you for joining us. Right now we are flying to Dean's home airport from my home airport, and seeing how we do it because it's kind of tricky airspace. Must have been a hard hitter, Vega. Okay, so we're following 57. We're still still on course there. So I think that right in front of us is Bracket. So we've got that in sight, which is good. And then we might even be able to see... No, probably not. We're not going to be able to see cable yet. The 3610 echo contact, so Cal departure. The 204 Lima echo connects, so Cal approach 135.4. 135.4 for Lima echo. Local approach. Good evening, Cessna Skyhawk, November two zero four Lima Echo at twenty three hundred. Two zero four Lima Echo. Local approach. Good evening, Ontario altimeter two nine nine two. Two nine nine two Ontario altimeter for Lima Echo. Uh, the beacon. I don't see it on the hill. Unless oh, that is the one on the hill. Yeah, good call. Yeah, that is the beacon on the hill. Yep, and that's the freaking hill that I used to run up for um, conditioning for basketball. God, I hated that thing. Okay, so here's here's where the 60 breaks off to uh, industry. So this is this is actually my office. New egg is located right here. Right in this like like uh, New egg, EVGA, MSI. We're all right in kind of the same little little Sir area. Port Alto Hotel, Roger, taxi Alpha to the ramp from in the street. Let's see if we can make.
<laughs> well, Sharky, I hope that we took care of it for you. Oh, that's just, that is going into Pomona. That is not the airport. The bracket is up over th there. Okay, so as long as we follow the 57 right here, we'll be fine. And right by Cal Poly, which is where I went to school. <laughs> not even close. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. Was it a while ago, or was it kind of recent? Oh, now we can see Bracket Field. I think we... Yep, yeah, just see the... The beacon for Bracket. Well, if there's anything that I can help you with, Sharky, let Zero me Echo. know. I tried to get a hold of you a couple times. Looks like you bumped your frequency to a frequency I don't control. Connect, so Cal Oh. No worries. SoCal Approach, Skyhawk 3610 Echo, level 4000. 3610 Echo, SoCal Approach, your radar contact. Uh, for now, use the John Wayne altimeter, it's 2993. On your present heading, intercept Victor 394, resume on navigation. Okay, so now 2993, we got Victor uh, 394, 10 Echo. Okay, so we need to go up to the 210. X-ray Bravo 1, Quebec Delta, SoCal, thanks. Cleared through the Bravo airspace by the coastal route to southbound 5500 LA altimeter 2993. Hey, check out that graphic. Clipper 576, turn left heading 290, descend to maintain 7000. How are we looking traffic wise here? Yep, we got cable almost in sight. Yep, there it is up there. Bought a used desktop, like loads of memory, video, HD, like for their items, all Actually, shipped Bravo, in different back orders. Delta connect, so Cal Approach 134.9. Okay, so there's bracket. There's, there's the 10. How are we looking there? Okay, so right here is the airspace for uh, Ontario. And we're actually underneath it, so we're fine. But it's like it starts right at that interchange right there. So we're just going to follow this up to the... Extra Bravo 1, Quebec Delta, so Calipro, Charger, the Los Angeles Ultimate, 2993. 204, Lee Mac, advise me at the Cable Airport and say. Let's see here. Roger that approach, uh, Cable Airport is in sight, 4 Lee Mac. 4 Lee Mac, Roger. 3610, can access Cal Approach, 128.1. 28.1, one zero echo. Okay, so there's Ontario right here. There's cable, there's bracket. There's the Death Hill right Clipper there. 576 and your present heading intercept for only two six left localized. Mother effer right there. That's the hit that's the Death Hill. I only got credit for the desktop. They said they never received the other stuff, even though I put everything in the same box. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's that's not. Th I mean, three six one zero. So Calipro, Church, Long Beach, Altimeter. Every time I deal with a company, I have to remind myself that you're dealing with people, and people make mistakes. Six one zero. Expect that. And there are very few instances that companies have just a culture of doing stuff like that. Um, but that does not sound like that's not good. Three six one zero is now cleared direct Seal Beach. I know the zoom. It's kind of hard to resist the zoom sometimes. Clipper five seventy six to seven. Okay, so here is now. the two ten, and there is cable. We got the beacon. 
And we're just going to follow the 210 all the way there. Well, I apologize for that, Sharky. If you if you want, zero four, Mecca. No traffic is there between you and the cable airport radar service is terminated. Squawking maintain VFR change to advisory frequency approved. Connect. Squawking VFR changing to advisory frequency. Thank you for your help, for Liam Echo. Three six one zero. Across Seal Beach, header above two thousand. Clear ILS from three zero approach. Oh yeah, we already had a lot. Uh, no, wait, we didn't have it set in yet. It was... Cover 576, Las Vegas Airport, be 12 o'clock, 16 miles, advise when you have it in sight. 2300, that's right. Cable traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, November 204, Lima Echo, five miles to the northwest, inbound, full stop landing, runway 24, cable traffic. Oh, I know, Sharky, but if there's something I can do to help, um, you know, whisper me information and I can, I can help you out with it, because that... That's definitely not right, and if there's something that I could help facilitate um, to make it right for you, I know that the, I know the company would appreciate that as well. Because we definitely don't want anyone having, um, you know, a bad uh, experience like that. That's that's not what we're about. Because our pattern altitude is 2300 MSL, 1400, okay. All right, here we go, Dean. So here is cable field. There's the 210. We're flying right over the 210. Pattern altitude is 800 feet above surveyed elevation, which is 2,300 feet, which is above what we're at right now. Cable traffic, Skyhawk 4 Lima Echo entering pattern at uh, 45 for the downwind runway 24 right traffic, cable traffic. That's probably messier than it needed to be. Alright, let's see here. Let's get uh, light on. Let's get flaps down. Okay, there we go. We got the field halfway up the strut. First notch of flaps in. Right over the way, right over the numbers, we'll start to start to descend. 500 foot per minute descend. Cable traffic, Skyhawk, four Lima Echo, turning right base from a two four. Cable traffic. Yeah, you don't want to put your flaps down while you're descending, but. Cable traffic, Skyhawk, Four Lima Echo, turning final runway two four, full stop. Cable traffic. Yeah, I would love to be able to see what I'm doing. a little bit messy. Ooh, that crosswind wasn't good. Let's do a let's do a go around.
which I just learned about doing, and I did it incorrectly. I went flaps full up. Don't be afraid to do a go around. Cable traffic, four lane echo, going around, runway two four, cable traffic. <laughs> Thanks, Sharky. Yeah, I just listened to a really good podcast on that, that um, I really thought about a lot. And I want to get used to doing that in the sim because it's so easy to just say, hey, it's a simulator. I can just do some crazy slip and get down. Um, but I don't want to get in the habit of, of doing that. I want to get in the habit of going, yeah, you know what? I don't like this one. I'm going to do it again. There is no shame in doing that. Cable traffic, Fort Lima Echo turning right downwind, runway 24, cable traffic. So let's go on the outside of the 210. No, that's too far apart. should have been the first thing I did too. Oh yeah, um, aviation news talk. And once I get on the ground, I'm gonna send. I wanna. I'll put the link in there um, because he's fantastic. Yeah, no, this, this airport is really cool. I like it a lot. Cable traffic, Skyhawk, Four Lima Echo, turning right base, runway 24, cable traffic. Yeah, a Aviation News Podcast. It's um, Max Prescott. He's a serious guy. Cable traffic, Skyhawk, Four Lima Echo, turning final, runway 24, full stop, cable traffic. <laughs> yeah. That, how much better does that look? Good God. I mean, it's still high, but. Little flaps. This we can work with. This uh, headwind's a little bit nasty, though. Just try to focus on staying right of center, and then it'll bring us back. Seventy knots. Sixty-five. Don't get distracted by the semi truck. There's the glide slope. And that is a big crosswind. Whoa, what the hell is that? Let's turn away from that. Let's not look at that. Don't look at that. And let's not go full on the brakes. Cable traffic, Skyhawk, Four Lima Echo, clear of runway 24, cable traffic. Well, there you go, Dean. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good call on the go around. Let's check that landing out, though. And what the crap name is that? Okay. Disconnect real quick. Disconnected. 
And let's go to our Okay. I'm gonna let that run for a second and <laughs> that's crazy. Smog was so bad. There's still days like that, but I don't think it's that bad. Aviation News Podcast. Yeah, he's um, he's all GA. Um, I mean, he does talk about some commercial stuff in reference to safety. Um, but yeah, such a good listen. Um, and he really, he has grown, he likes to grow his listenership via uh, word of mouth. So i um, very happy to pass that on to you guys. Do not land with the brakes on. Do I have the brakes on? Or does it just think that I have the brakes on? Because... That may have been the case. Yeah, he actually was in the... Um, uh, in radio before. I can't remember what, what he actually did in radio, but... Yeah, he's got a great voice. He's got a great... Uh, nice tight podcast. It's really good, really good. I know, son. Thank you, Vega. Yeah, sunset is always fun to be f flying on this, and the lighting looks so great. All right, let's see how this goes from this angle. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. My pleasure, man. This was this was a great call. Thank you for suggesting it. It's a lot of fun. I really hadn't done a flight like that without GPS, just like a dead reckoning pilot edge flight. So that was that was a first for me and, and well worth it. Right on. I don't do this a lot, but I kind of want to see it like from like a GoPro cam kind of. Kind of cool. Yeah, that, that hangar is a little bit goofy. That's actually kind of a cool view, a cool way to look at it. <laughs> I'm sure there's... Um, actually, I shouldn't say that I'm sure there because I am not sure, but... Holy crap, what the F was that? That was me coming out of... The replay, apparently the realism back Cessna does not like replays. That is too bad. Okay. So everything looks okay. So that was Yeah. Yeah, the uh the sim coders rep pack. 
Apparently everything was turned off and it still decided to fire.